Here comes the Kamesh! Zane O'Mac! The following contest is a no disqualification handicap match. And from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds. I wonder whose life Shane and career shapes here to make man. miserable tonight. Oh, what a dark horse. Commissioner Hothead is out of its mind. Completely unlikable. You know, guys, I talked to some of the members of the Mean Street Posse. They guys for our three-on-one handicap match and if you like an underdog story you're gonna love this well at least until the bell rings anyway after that it's gonna be a complete massacre son Shane McMahon steps into the ring where he will stop at nothing to win the numbers game here just isn't fair Cole I mean even Saxton can see that I saw Shane O'Mac out at ringside earlier and I think he was scouting for somewhere to jump off of yeah as long as it's far away from this announce table I'm looking forward to it touche Triple H, I never thought we'd see somebody use the pedigree in such a dominating fashion. The finishing move is just one of the things Seth Rollins acquired during his time as a member of the Authority. Nailed it. You gotta believe this one's over. Boom! Ooh, 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 ooh. Elbow drop with Authority. What a stop. Good grief. Some would say that Seth Rollins' current WWE is the best example of a competitor's evolution. The pedigree is a finishing move that's helped Rollins climb to the top of sports entertainment. I'll never forget that episode of Monday Night Raw when Roman Reigns went for a spear and Rollins turned it into a pedigree. There's no doubt about it. A pedigree is a devastating finisher in the hands of Seth Rollins. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. Ooh, what impact. This might be it. Oh, my. Line. Ouch. Elbow finds its mark. Shame at man starting to falter. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. He may very well find himself on the wrong end of this decision if he doesn't come up with something quickly. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. Being a sports entertainer for over 25 years will take a toll on anybody's body, yet The Undertaker continues to defy logic. 
Yeah, and he continues to silence any doubters. So many have asked, has The Undertaker lost a step? And that, guys, may be the most dangerous question to ask. You would be making a grave mistake to come at the dead man with misplaced confidence. What a strike. What a stomp. Good grief. Byron brings up the question of Undertaker losing a step, and it seems as if the notion is constantly tested. Challengers continue to lure the dead man out. No one allows him to rest in peace. Every body on body. Wow. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Still a lot more fight left. Not now. Not now. Oh, no. Oh, no time for... A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstar. Not now. Not now. Oh, no. Oh, there's no time for... Oh, moonsault. Incredible, Jody. Handicap match. Not now. Not now. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's no time for... Ooh. Wow, look at the quickness by Shane McMahon. Somebody wound him up and he's off and running. Beautiful technique. Here we go. Oh, man. Looking at it. Oh, nasty impact. Looks like Seth Rollins is starting to fatigue here. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. Handicap matches are all about the odds, Cole, and sometimes understanding and navigating those oh, odds man. correctly, as fair or unfair as they may seem, can make all the difference in the world. One thing you can't take away from Shane McMahon, Corey, is that he has proven to be one of the most fair and balanced leaders WWE has ever seen. Yeah, right. As evidenced by his work as SmackDown. <laughs> Shane absorbing a lot of punishment here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. His shoulders are down. You guys brought up a great point about SmackDown being the land of opportunity. Thanks in part to Shane McMahon. And, you know, I'd say guys like Mojo Rawley and even Jinder Mahal should be thanking Shane. No, 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 let's not get carried away. Anyone that has success around Shane McMahon tends to have that success in spite of Shane's presence. He gets the shoulder up before three. Man, oh man. When this guy's on, look out. Ooh, harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. You know what I respect the most about Shane McMahon, guys? It's that he could very easily sit on the sidelines and reap the benefits of being Mr. McMahon's son. But instead, he... Looking for a repeat. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Devastating elbow. Load over. Oh, and oh man, that hurt. Byron mentioned how Shane proves his worth by stepping into the ring, which is something I don't think a lot of executives would do, let alone go to the extreme that Shane does. Yeah, for some reason, I don't see Shane McMahon. Big move coming. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Yeah, he's running hot right now, but we'll see if he can sustain it for long. This might be it. Oh, my. Here he goes. Yeah, right to the way to the neck. Here's his moment, Michael. Can he do it here? In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. 
On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan, Braun Strowman, absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. And he got a near fall out of it. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. Seth Rollins! Oh, but oh, the super kick! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Knee drop! That was nasty. So precise. Beautiful technique. Ah, drop kick! Right on the money. Big collision on the splash. Shane absorbing a lot of punishment here. We've got a cover. <laughs> Seth Rollins wins. That's what makes a handicap match one of the most unpredictable in WWE. Yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. 